Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is uh, a brewery that I probably have done, bef uh, have done before and this is Other Half Brewing. If you guys don't know, this is a relatively new brewery uh, from New York, they're actually in Brooklyn and uh, they make, they're make they probably the best New York brewery now. Um, they recently got the cover of Beer Advocate and uh, yeah, one of the up and coming wonderful breweries um, you know, in the country and uh, really exciting stuff. They just uh, canned a beer and this is super fun. I believe it's an uh, El Dorado Hopped Pale Ale coming at 4.2%. Two percent. Uh, thankfully, a friend was able to pick a, a can up for me, and I'm excited to dig in. Uh, let's see. Wow, this beer comes in a really interesting color. Wonderful design. I also like that about the brewery. Uh, like this kind of, you can see it in the glass. But anyway, let's dig in the beer. The beer. Uh, first, I already smell it. Uh, the beer is a really interesting color, really gorgeous color. It almost looks like a uh, Berliner Weiss or a really cloudy Goza. A nice kind of golden wheat kind of color. Good amount of head, but completely completely opaque. Um, almost looks like um, those kind of wonderful beers that come out of uh, uh, Vermont, Treehouse. Uh, almost like a slight heady topper kind of haze. Let's get the aroma. Oh wow, really nice. Yep, uh, I, I would imagine there's El Dorado in here. Um, you get this, again, like um, Mitch Steele called, uh, from Stone, he calls it um, a Starburst candy. It has that kind of lemon, kind of Starburst candy kind of thing, almost like a um, uh, a cough drop, lemon cough drop kind of aroma. Uh, oh yeah, very candy like, almost a little bit of cotton candy kind of uh, aroma. If they make, if they make a lemon cotton candy, if that's such a thing. Yeah, wow, really. Um, uh, even like some zestiness going on. So it's not only the candy uh, note; it's almost that kind of fresh kind of um, uh, citrus kind of note. Cheers. Falls on the flavor. Very nice one. Up front, um, again, that kind of zestiness is coming through. Now I'm getting a little bit more kind of um, kind of fleshiness of a fruit. So sort of a um, uh, a, a, a navel orange, um, almost like a, um, a a less like a less bitter grapefruit. So almost maybe something like I don't know. I'm trying to think of something that's grapefruit like, but not as bitter as grapefruit. Um, yeah, maybe some of grapefruit that's sort of restrained on the um, on the flavor, a little bit more sweet kind of grapefruit. A little kind of grassiness going on. Um, really wonderful mouthfeel. Wow, for four point two, this drinks wonderfully, nice and creamy. Uh, again, very much a uh, New England kind of hoppy beer kind of malt profile. Mm. Spot on on the carbonation and mouthfeel. It's almost like a chewy breadiness that's going on here. Drinks amazing for 4.2. On the back end, um, more kind of um, grapefruit pith, uh, grapefruit seeds, lemon seeds, that kind of uh, almost like fruity kind of bitterness. Um, reasonably bitter for 4.2. I'd say some medium plus kind of bitterness. But in general, extremely refreshing. Um, not too aggressively fruit forward, uh, just like a medium kind of lingering kind of orange, grapefruit, lemon kind of quality. Again, um, maybe a little bit of that kind of candy, but the candy was more on the aroma. Um, amazing mouthfeel, nice bitterness, um, just a great session beer. Uh, one of the better session beers I've actually had. Uh, not as ex explosive out of the can as something like Carton Boat Beer, uh, but really nice. Um, again, it's different from those West Coast um, examples that I've reviewed, like the Lagunitas and Stone and you have the Midwest one, I guess, so Founders All Day. Those are more traditional kind of IPAs turned into um, uh, session IPAs. This is more towards a, um, again, a, a, a Vermont or New England kind of hoppy beer, just uh, dialed down to 4.2%. Great stuff. Um, this beer on Beer Advocate gets a 91. This is exactly the kind of profile I like, so I'm going to uh, bump up that rating. I'm going to give this beer a 90. I'm going to give this beer a 94. Um, one of the better session... Actually, you know, let's give it a 95. One of the better uh, better session beers I've ever had. Yeah, really nice stuff. Um, it, again, it could be a little bit more juicy and aggressive and just kind of explosive out of the glass and on the flavor. But it, that kind of restrained kind of quality works with this beer. Great food beer. Great kind of summer kind of beer. And uh, hopefully I will be bringing you guys also Green Diamonds, which will be canned soon. 
I do have a previous review of that. But um, if you guys know it about other half, uh, let me know what you think. If you come to New York, definitely check them out. They're in Brooklyn. They're by far the best brewery in uh, New York City proper. And until next time, guys, cheers. Later. <laughs>